What if I started using a trading strategy based on the 4 hours chart at the beginning of this year? How much money I could have made so far? And how can I easily improve any Forex trading strategy? Hello and welcome back to Trading Strategy Testing Channel, there is always a need to learn more about the best stocks, forex and commodity trading strategies which is the purpose of this channel. We enjoy trading, we just wanna teach it with live market actions. In part 1 we have backtested a high time frame strategy that one of our subscribers sent us. The results were quite promising. In today's video we will continue backtesting the strategy with other forex pairs and learn a simple method to turn any strategy into a gold mine. But before that, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up to help the channel grow and encourage us to make more content in future. Let's get started. Let's start with the summary. We will do a quick recap and continue backtesting our trading strategy. Once done, we will reveal the best forex pairs for our strategy then share the final backtesting results. The last part will be a simple and general method to improve the success rate of all sorts of trading strategies, make sure you don't miss it. In the previous video we have backtested the ADX and Donchian channel indicators, the results were quite promising, and we ended up growing our trading account from $1,000 to $1,111.60 throughout a period of 6 months. What would happen if we use the same strategy 100 times with other forex pairs? And how can we improve the strategy by analyzing the losing trades? That's what we will learn today but before that, let's quickly review the strategy together. Well, the strategy is simple, we go long when the price crosses above the Donchian basis line, and the ADX is above 25. On the other hand, we sell when the price crosses below the basis line, when the ADX value is 25 or above. You can watch the first part of the video for more information about the strategy and examples from the market. So far we have only applied our strategy for Euro USD Forex pairs, the results were good, we will continue backtesting other major currency pairs to see which one is more profitable, and we will share with you the strategy we use to analyze the losing trades. Reducing the number of losing trades is part of the objective of any successful trader. The first question is from Endrick PTR, who wants to know whether ADX works on 5 or 15 minutes time frame. Well my answer is yes, but you might have to deal with many false signals. In such a situation, we will advise you to use other indicators to filter out the wrong signals. You can use the most basic ones such as the moving average, MACD or Bollinger Band. If you are trading stocks or indices, you could use the volume or VWAP indicators. Support and resistance lines are pretty helpful to reduce the noise and false signals. Otherwise, you can also check out our no indicator trading strategy when we use fundamental analysis to trade Forex. We will use these strategies together at the end of this video so make sure to stick around. The second question is from Aziz Air, who wants to know some of the best books about trading. There are plenty of books to learn from especially when it comes to trading techniques and mindset. One of my top favorite books is the classic Trading the Zone by Mark Douglas, How to Swing Trade by Brian Pezum and Andrew Aziz. And for those obsessed with price action and naked chart trading, Al Brooks' collection is the best way to go. At the moment I am reading Forex Fundamental Analysis by David Carley. I will leave all the links in the description. Feel free to let us know in the comments section your top 3 books about Forex trading. We have just finished testing the strategy, we use 8 different forex pairs, before we reveal the final results let's see what the success rate of each forex pair. Here are the success rates of the strategy across the major and some minor pairs. The British pounds USD showed the highest success rate, whereas the strategy seems incompatible with the USD JPY and Aussie. Alright, let's look at the final results. Does this strategy work? How much money we would have made if we traded this strategy starting from the 1st January 2020? Well the back testing process took around 2 hours time. Kindly give this video a thumbs up to help this channel grow and don't hesitate to subscribe so you won't miss any content in future. 
After 100 trades we have made $661.14 profit, and the overall success rate is 54%, which is good for a strategy based on 1 to 1.3 risk to reward ratio. Other than that, we have recorded 8 consecutive losing trades when we were backtesting the strategy on the Aussie dollar forex pair. Well is there a way to improve this strategy? How to reduce the losing trades? Let me share with you a basic method to improve any trading strategy you might be using. The first part is to analyze the losing trades, the fastest way is to pull out the consecutive part where you have the maximum number of losing trades, we should find the reason why they all hit the stop loss. I personally like to use two vertical lines as boundaries to make life easier and avoid any distraction. Alright, we have 5 consecutive losing trades, we should try to find a strategy that could prevent us from entering these trades, since we are trading a system, we should think of an indicator. If you are trading major fundamentals, you might want to have a look at the market sentiment and the event calendar of the time frame in question. The first one that might come to our mind is the 200 exponential moving average. The 200 EMA is considered as a strong support and resistance, and it's also used to define the direction of the trend. Let's try to plot it on the chart and see what message it delivers. We should always remember that there is no trading strategy that works all the time, the main objective is to reduce the number of losing trades. Once done, you might backtest the strategy again to see whether the success rate would increase or not. You can see that the price was above the 200 EMA, which means that we were on an uptrend. All the five consecutive losing trades were sell orders. We should then consider using the 200 EMA to filter out the false signals. We might only go short if the strategy gives us a bearish signal and the price is below the 200 EMA. You can apply this strategy on every single losing trade and at the same time record any remark or notice you might have about your strategy. This method helps many of my students reduce the number of their losing trades and improve their forex trading strategies. You can use our free trading journal, the link is available in the description. Are there other indicators that we can use to optimize this strategy even more? What would be the new strategy then? Do you want me to back test it in the coming video? Let us know in the comments section and feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you want us to make more similar content in future. Happy trading! Wait, we have got a little surprise for you guys. As per your request, we are going to start a new YouTube series where we grow a small Forex account together. We are not sure of the balance you want us to start with, so we created a poll on our Facebook group to get your opinion. If you are not in the group yet, feel free to join us by clicking on the link available in the description section. Thank you for watching and happy trading!